Hey guys, AC here. Welcome to another review. I normally don't do two, two videos back to back, but I, want, I wanted to do it because I want to celebrate me reaching 1000 subscribers with the review of an absolutely amazing fragrance, guys. 1725 by Histoire de Parfum. Here is the presentation. It's a beautiful, lovely little presentation. I really like everything about Histoire de Parfum. Here's the bottle. It's lovely guys. You know this house, this house, I love this house because of two reasons. Number one, the fragrances are mostly very creative. Yeah, and number two, the fragrances hark back to classic French perfumery. And they put a little bit of a modern twist to it to make it very interesting. So 1725, all right, is the year and you know, Histoire de Parfum, they create fragrances on historical figures and events. So 1725 was a year when Casanova was born, right? And Casanova, as you all know, has been credited with many things. He had a very interesting life and he had many affairs with beautiful women and they were all very scandalous. So much so that that sort of behavior was given a name which is Casanova. Everybody now knows that the name Casanova basically suggests Playboy. So 1725 was a year when he was born. He was born in Venice. But this fragrance, you know, is not, doesn't make me think it is Italian. It is absolutely French, totally French. So the perfumer, perfumer for this fragrance is Gérald Guigelin. He does all the fragrances from his Histoire de Parfum. So, let's start this fragrance is stunning i think this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance right from the get-go dude this is an outstanding beautiful fragrance how does that start off so this fragrance if you look at the note pyramid will give you an idea that this is a classical fougere yeah with a twist as i said histoire de parfum create the fragrances which hark back to classical french perfumery and they give it a slight twist to make it brilliant, make it more unique, interesting, that kind of stuff. This particular fragrance is compared a lot to Invasion Barbera. Now, I haven't smelt it, but Invasion Barbera by MDCI is a Harrods exclusive. It's one of the most finest fragrances. Everybody swears by it. And one of my subscribers told me that he only had a 10 ml decant of Invasion Barbera, but the amount of compliments he got was through the roof more than any of his full bottle so I have to try it but till that time I'm gonna focus on this fragrance because I love this fragrance how does that start off the fragrance starts off smelling extremely aromatic very slightly fougere and very interesting very very interesting it's a sunny beautiful manly sort of a fragrance what you smell up front is a very aromatic, woody, uh, I would say, with citrus. Yeah. So there is bergamot, there is lemon, and there is grapefruit. But it's way behind the aromatic notes. Licorice, which I don't get much of, but what I get is vanilla, almond combined together, and lavender. Very aromatic beautiful bright lavender mm. stunning the opening is absolutely stunning guys the when the fragrance gets about 15 minutes on your skin there are a couple of notes which join the party anise now if you smelled star anise you know that it's got this little spicy very aromatic and slightly woody scent beautiful and the almond gets stronger so there's bitterness to it and you know, almond in a man's fragrance is amazing because it brings in slight level of creaminess, slight, very aromatic, obviously, slightly fruity and slightly uh, fruity and slightly woody. That's what almond is doing here. It's a, such a nicely blended fragrance that it just just tells you that you're wearing something very very special. So middle of the fragrance brings in almond with licorice. Vanilla, lavender, and a little bit of warmth, which is coming from amber, and a little bit of, um, I would say, manly edge, which is coming from lavender. Yeah, 
sandalwood as well plays a role but I don't smell sandalwood explicitly here is a dry down you hit the dry down in about one hour and that dry down makes the fragrance even more aromatic but it starts to veer towards something edible yeah as if you're sitting next to an eatery which bakes stuff almond vanilla manly lavender yeah slight bitterness of almond slightly rooty earthiness from licorice and anise and a little bit of warmth from amber absolutely stunning extremely elegant and the fragrance keeps doing this beautiful dance for the entire lifetime where sometimes lavender comes up and sometimes that lavender smells like bo uh, boiled corn you know the smell excuse me uh, that you get from lavender uh, heavy fragrances sometimes but mostly it's a extremely well blended fougère with gourmand elements thrown in. Very aromatic, nice, nicely blended fragrance. And I think it's unisex. A lady could wear this, but I think it's more suitable for a very stylish, sort of a elegant man. That's the fragrance. So pros and cons. <clears throat> Number one pro of this fragrance is guy, how um, elegant and how stylish this fragrance is. Without trying too hard, this is extremely elegant extremely elegant yeah number two pro of this fragrance is the blending it's so beautifully blended all these ingredients which could have taken the fragrance in one direction or the other it stays right smack in the middle of a classical fougere and gourmand right in the middle smack in the middle so it's beautifully blended very creative that's third um, pro this fragrance is super creative I can't think of any other fragrance, I can't, I'm not reminded of any other fragrance apart from what people say, Invasion Barbet. I haven't smelt it, so I couldn't confirm or deny. So those are the three uh, pros if you like. Downsides, if you don't like lavender, sometimes the lavender veers off in a direction. So you could uh, possibly get perturbed by that. Number two pro, uh, sorry, a downside, is the fragrance is slightly mature yeah so this will not appeal to a 25 year old or lesser this is more for a 25 year old or more yeah or if you have a mature personality and number three downside is this leans unisex all right so that could that could upset some people in terms of weather in terms of um what occasions to wear this to Look, this is a very elegant fragrance, yeah. And because of the notes that I said, you know, this has got a gourmand element, this has got a fougère element. The fougère element tells me that I can wear this in any weather, any weather. If I'm wearing this in summertime, I'd reserve this for summer evenings because the vanilla, the almond can be a little bit too sweet. Although the almond balances the vanilla, yeah. So the bitterness balances the sweetness, hence, you're okay. If it's too hot, I wouldn't wear this in daytime. Other, other than that, it's a year-round fragrance that you can happily wear to any occasion. So that brings me to the next subject, occasions. If you're wearing this in non-hot weather, yeah, spring, autumn, winter, you can wear this to work. It's a very, very elegant fragrance. Extremely elegant. If you're wearing this, wearing this in summer, I would wear this to a summer day and night. It will go beautifully. Extremely elegant, very attractive fragrance. Just like the personality Casanova, you will really, really get superb attention. But this doesn't scream out. That brings me to the next subject, performance. Very long lasting fragrance, guys. This is easily eight, 10 hours fragrance, even 10 hours plus. Longevity. In terms of projection, this doesn't project a lot. That's why I said you could wear this to work as well. This basically is sort of mediocre sillage. People have to be very close to you to smell it. Yeah, and that's I think perfect because you know this is not a screamer. This is a very elegant fragrance. People have to be close to you. I really enjoy this fragrance. The middle of this fragrance is the best part of this fragrance, you know? The 15 minute plus to about four hours, the best part. 
So age groups I've covered, occasions I've covered, I think I've covered all aspects. In terms of marks, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10, a perfect score. Why? Because, oh, value for money. This is a 120ml bottle, guys. Yeah, It cost me £125, but it's available for far cheaper prices on Notino currently. So value for money is pretty high for what you're getting. The quality of the scent is really high. It is very creative and it smells absolutely stunning. So value for money is very high. So why am I giving it 10 out of 10? It's a unique sort of a fragrance. Very stylish, uh, very elegant fragrance. Great performance, yeah, not too expensive. It's got absolutely everything going for it. 10 out of 10. Hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.